FEBRUARY IS RADON ACTION MONTH. THE COLORLESS, ODORLESS, TASTELESS GAS IS EVERYWHERE, BUT HIGH LEVELS OF IT CAN BE HARMFUL. NEW AT 7, NEWS 8'S EMILY LINERET SHOWS US HOW TO FIND OUT IF IT'S IN YOUR HOME AND HOW TO GET RID OF IT. A BEAUTIFUL NEW HOME IN A GROWING BYRON CENTER SUBDIVISION. THE PERFECT PLACE FOR SCOTT HESSLINK AND HIS WIFE TO RAISE THEIR THREE BOYS. IF YOU HAD HIGH RADON LEVELS, YOU WOULD NOT KNOW. WHAT YOU CAN'T SEE UNDERNEATH THE NEW SIDING AND SHINGLES IS RADON, A COLORLESS, ODORLESS GAS THAT'S NATURALLY OCCURRING IN THE AIR. SOME OF THE NEIGHBORS STARTED POSTING ABOUT uh, RADON LEVELS AND you know, ASKING IF ANYBODY HAD TESTED, IF ANYBODY WAS GOING TO TEST. We saw it, didn't think anything of it. Scott's attention was piqued a few months later when the same neighbors posted their radon levels had come back elevated. I think there were more than, I think it was 10 times what the acceptable level was is what they had stated. So we started looking into it a little bit, didn't really know anything about the issue. So radon is a carcinogenic gas that's naturally produced um, by the decay of uranium in the soil. Radon is everywhere. It's in the air. But when it gets into your house and concentrates in the basement, it can be dangerous. Some basements uh, aren't as airtight. They might have a groundwater sump cracks, cracks in the foundation uh, that allow this radon gas to get into the home. It's not just Scott's new house. Elevated radon levels can be found in old houses, condos, commercial buildings. It can be a problem at one house and be at safe levels in the house right next door. The only way to know the level of radon in your home is to get tested, and the only way to get rid of it is a mitigation system. We always solve the problem. Zach Schultz of Schultz Pest Control and Radon Services says getting radon out of the house is actually a pretty simple process. We're creating a vacuum underneath the slab. We're just moving air from underneath the underneath the, the home. You can follow the PVC pipe from the floor in Scott's furnace room through his garage and out the roof above. A lot of it has to do with the aesthetics of, of where the system can be routed. Brendan Earl at the Kent County Health Department said a lot of people are afraid to test for radon because they don't want to deal with the mitigation. Zach says the whole job can usually be done for anywhere from $800 to $1,100. The health department is giving away free radon testing kits during this month. They're hoping people will be like Scott. Find out and take action. At peace. It's just something we don't have to worry about anymore. In Byron Center, Emily Leonard, News 8.